Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Last time we talked about what a numbering system is and today we are looking into one stranger numbering system, a numbering system we are not really that into like the decimal numbering system. We are looking into the binary number system. So the binary numbering system it consists there are two two symbols. Huh? So we have two symbols available to note a value. These two symbols are usually, yeah, we usually write, write 0 and 1. Sometimes we also type O and I, yeah, or sometimes we also write low and high. Yeah? However, this is the usual one. This one we I'm going to use right now in my explanation. Okay? I'm going to use this one. Yeah? This is the one I'm preferring. Yeah? So every digit in my binary number has the possibilities of two different values. All right, and last time we did the same, yeah? like I'm writing down now. So we have zero, yeah? then next possible one. Yeah? And what now all my possibilities are gone, yeah? are already used. So I'm using the next digit. Yeah? All right, it's like it's working exactly like the other numbering system yeah, that I'm always change, changing to the next digit yeah, to indicate, okay, I've used all of you. Yeah, I've used all of the previous combinations yeah, and so on. You see, it's working exactly like always. Every time I used all combinations, I used the next digit. Every time I used all combinations, I used the next digit. Every time I use all combinations, I use the next digit. Yeah? That's, that's how this a, a numbering system is working. Okay? Here. And then we would use the next digit again. All right. So, what is the value of one position? Yeah? In our case, yeah, here, the last digit. Yeah? What is the value of the last digit? Yeah? It's one. The value is one. Let's write it down. Yeah? The value of the next digit. Yeah? In decimal numbering system, we said yeah, this is 10, yeah, but here we have not 10 symbols, we have two symbols. So the value of this one is 2. Okay? The value of the next digit, yeah, in decimal this was the 100, 100. So it was 10, 10 times 10, yeah, and here is 2 times 2, it's 4. Okay? The next digit yeah, is again factor 2 more. Yeah. So it's 8. Yeah. And so on. Book, 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 book. And then we have the nth digit. Yeah. And this is whatever. Yeah. If again, if I'm again writing here, then the numbers. Yeah. So let's say, okay, this is digit number 0, this is digit number 1, 2, 3, and this is n. So we are ending up here in 2, yeah, not 10, this times 2, raised by the power of 0. Yeah. And here we're ending up in 2, raised by the power of 1. Yeah. Here we're ending up in 2, raised by the power of 2. Here we're ending up in 2, raised by the power of 3 and so on. So the value of this one is 2 raised by the power of n. 
right? And this is exactly how I could transfer yeah, one uh, value. Yeah? Let's simply pick one. Yeah? Let's pick one. So, in example, we have here, let's pick this one, this. Yeah? So we have one, zero, one, one. All right. So the first digit, the value is one. Okay. These are the values. One, two, four, eight value. Value of the digit. Yeah. So we have one times one is one. Yeah. We have one times two is two. We have zero times four is zero. Yeah? And we have one times eight, it's eight. And then I will add all of these. Yeah? Plus, plus, plus equals yeah? eight plus two, it's eleven. Yeah? That's the value is eleven. That's eleven. Let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Exactly eleven. Okay? Because this, this would be binary here. Yeah? And in decimal, let's always make group of fours that we can we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? So, <sighs> this is how you can transfer a binary number, a right hip bin. Yeah? To a decimal number, that. And how to transfer a decimal number to a binary number? Yeah? I will use here this 11. Yeah? Then divide by 2, yeah? because 2 is binary system. Yeah? What is this? 11 divided by 2 is 5. Okay? So we have 5. And we have a rest. Yeah? We have a rest of the division, and this is 1. With 2 times 5 is 10, and then there's 1 left over. Yeah? So we have rest 1. Okay? Then I take this 5 here. 5. And divide this also by 2. Yeah? 2 because it's decimal system. How many times can be 2 placed in 5? Well, it's 2 times. And the rest is also 1. Okay? 2 divided by 2 is, well, that's easy, 1 time. Huh? And this time the rest of the division is also 0, the remainder. I'm not sure. In German we call it rest. Yeah? The rest of the division. I think in, in English it's remainder. And then we have 1 divided by 2. And now this indicates we are at the end because this is 0 times. However, there is still a remainder. This is 1. And then we are reading this upside down in this direction. So we have 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay? Binary. This is how, how you transfer a decimal number to a binary number by hand. Or you have a fancy calculator or Windows uh, operating system or, and you simply press a button. <laughs> That's the usual way. Yeah? But now you know how it's really working. And now also how many, let's say, Let's have a look at this 4-bit, yeah? at this 
This is this is one one digit is called a bit in a binary system. Uh, that's uh, just another name. Uh, a little thing, a bit, a bit, <laughs> the tiny little thing. Uh, and with four digits, how many things you could uh, you could uh, divide? Yeah, it's two raised by the power of this digit. Yeah, so in this case. It's four, two raised by four is sixteen. Yeah. Two, four, eight, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. This sixteen is how many different combinations are there? Two raised by the by the power of four. Yeah. Number of combinations. Two raised by n. Yeah? In example, n equals four. Two raised by four is sixteen. And here we have from zero to fifteen. That's it. Yeah? So sixteen different combinations. It's exactly the same in the decimal system. Then that this two is not two. It's ten. Yeah? Ten raised by the power. If I have three digits, I can have one thousand ten raised by three. Yeah? 1000 different combinations and and biggest number or value to be displayed 2 raised by the power of n minus 1 yeah? in example 2 raised by 4 minus 1 is 15. And really, 15 was the biggest number I could display with four different, four different digits binary system. If I have a fifth, it would then be uh, twice as much minus 1. So it's 16, 32, 31 would then be the next. Yeah? This is how the binary system is working. Yeah? You have noticed, I've always written here bin. Yeah? That's because a series of combinations of I mean, this could be interpreted as decimal number as well, right? It could mean one thousand eleven. Why not? Yeah, just because there are ones and zeros yeah, does not mean it's binary. It could be by chance something else also. Yeah, so that's the binary system. Yeah? There are even things codes out there which looks exactly the same which also have only use ones and zeros yeah however they are not a binary system yeah we will talk about this in later videos next time we are going to talk about the so-called hexadecimal system okay this was the binary system we we're talking about the hexadecimal system because hexadecimal has 16 different possibilities 16 different Hexa, 6, decimal, 10, 16, yeah? uh, different uh, symbols available. And what are the results, yeah? or what are, yeah, what will follow out of this, and how, how really close the binary system and the hexadecimal system are, I will show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.